Hey guys, this is Dabs Nishmel. As part of using tables, there are a few more things that we couldn't cover in the previous tutorial. So this is an addition to the first one that we did and maybe there will be subsequent ones that will tackle especially using tables and layout grid and layers and so on. But for this tutorial, um, there are a few more other objects that can be used in tables in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17 and even lower versions. Some of these um, objects, let me just move this table out, are uh, aside text, are uh, also icons and shapes. So let me search for icons. I can break an icon in here and then I can move the icon into the table. So let me resize this so this can stay in there. I can equally also bring shapes. So I can equally also move shapes into the uh, table and then I have a um, bookmark. So these are some of the objects that can be put into a table as well as an image. I can select an image and then put them also into a table. So you know that there are um, unlimited number of um, tools that you can actually use in the table. Now, if you'd want to be able to use a table within a text that is, I think, rich text um, feature, you um, can do that as well. So let me just get rid of this layer layout here and then bring a text in here. I'm going to populate this text with some information. And then I say, let's say about two paragraphs, which is fine. And the normal circumstance, I can move this text into the table, which will work, but I can't move the table into the text. So you notice that is not working. If I want to be able to insert a table into this particular text, what I can do is simply double clicking on um, in my text, come to the section where I want to add a table. Then I come to the insert section. So you notice that for this particular option, it is only one. You use the insert option. You can use the table option here. So under insert, you come to table and then you specify the number of columns and rows that you want to have. In case that, in case the options that you have here is limited and you want to be able to include more by selecting the table. Let me see if I come back to insert and then add two more. Okay, so that is a way you can actually go about that. So I've been able to add another table within the table. Unfortunately, I'm not able to select because I don't have the flexibility to work on the table as I would have, especially if I'm using it in this way. So if you would want to add more um, columns uh, or um, columns or rows to it, the way you can go about it is to, I suppose, come to the end of the, the table and then come to insert table and then maybe specify the number of columns or rows to be able to do that. And if, yeah, so this is for the row. If you want to do for columns as well, you basically do the same to be able to do that. But of course you can tweak the um, the width of the, the tables as well as the height of the cells within the table. So this is one way you can, or uh, this is a way you can go about including tables within text that is known as the rich um, text feature and WYSIWYG Web Builder. So this is part of the using tables tutorial. And in more videos, I'll try as much as possible, especially to touch more on how you can use this um, tables, especially in layout grid or fluid, um, you know, layers so that um, it's easier for you to be able to work with tables, especially in your WYSIWYG Web Builder project. So that is just about it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.